There's a lot of stats about why businesses fail. But I think most of them actually fail because the people don't understand their business model. If you're good at what you make and you're good at what you sell, but you're not good at understanding how to scale that company, then you can run out of cash too soon. On the other hand, if you're a startup and you haven't figured out how to tap into customers, then you can fail that way too because you run out of money. But running out of money is only the symptom. It's like saying people die because their heart stopped. But the, the actual cause is not understanding how your business model works so that you can conserve cash in the right times and spend it at the right times. The, the statistics of when businesses fail are all over the map. There's, um, but a lot of them fail right away in the first year or so. Uh, if you've got your business going for a year and you're, you're solid you know, profitability, then you're doing really well actually, so you should congratulate yourself. The, what people don't understand sometimes is that too many businesses succeed in terms of being alive, but their owners are actually making less money than if they had a job. And that's a real big problem. You're working 60, 70, 80 hours a week, and you're not making any money. So then why are you doing it? If you're not making money or you're not having fun, then there's something that, that you can do differently. Well, you hire a consultant for things that you don't know well. So a consultant brings expertise in from the outside. When you don't know your taxes, you hire a tax consultant. When you don't know your computers, you hire a computer consultant. Most people in companies who, especially if they've started the company, they're really good at making the product. They're very good at selling the product. They're not good at building the structure of the company for growth because that's not what they're trained in. That's not what they have experience in. So you should get somebody in who knows how to do that. And people say to me a lot of times, well, you don't know my industry, or do, how well do you know my industry? And my point is, I'm not supposed to know your industry. You know your industry. You don't need another expert in your industry. You need an expert in things that you don't know well, which is how to build companies. And the things that I've learned over the years from running my own company, from consulting with um, business owners all around the country, is all those things that companies have in, in, that are the same among companies. What you sell and what you make is what makes your company unique and special. What I bring to the table is what makes every company the same. You all have to do books, you all have to do management, you all have to do sales. There's a system for all that stuff that most people haven't learned if they're working focused on their product. The best time to bring in a consultant or a business advisor is when you feel like your company is not maximizing the potential that's there. When you see potential there that you can't quite get to, uh, the actual pain points are things like not being able to hire good people, not having the sales grow the way it should, uh, having sales grow but not having the profitability that you should. Those are signs that there's something not right with what you're doing. If it, while that's happening, the product is still selling, now you've got a base that you can build on, change those things that aren't working, and really get the kind of results that you want. I've served clients in various industries, manufacturing, chemicals, restaurant owners, retails, uh, CPAs, attorneys, even software companies. That's, that's a lot of my business. And the reason I can do that is because I don't have to be the expert in your industry. I'm the expert in how companies work. I think running a small company, it's certainly not for everybody, and thank God for that because then there wouldn't be anybody to work for us. But for the people that love it, it's the greatest way to have what you want out of life, to make the kind of money that you want, to do the things you love. You get to pick where you can do it. You get to pick the people you work with every day. Uh, you get to pick the, what the company does and, and spend your time doing the stuff you love. The people that I work with started out that way and then they usually get into a place where things aren't happening for them. And I get to correct that and put them back on the track of doing what they love, making the kind of money that they want, having the freedom that they do, helping them enjoy the reasons they went into business in the first place. And, and I love doing that. I also love teaching. I also love uh, looking through the systems of companies and how they work, systemizing things so that the same things get done properly every time. If you're frustrated with how your company's going, you have to take the first step. And the first step is to call somebody. 
contact me or contact somebody who can help you, but get, get some help because it is possible to run your company and enjoy the kind of life and the kind of finances that you want.